Okie dokie. In this problem, they say choose the simplified difference quotient and derivative at a equals 6 for this function. As in the other difference quotient problems, I'll go ahead and call g f of x just to make it more consistent. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is find the difference quotient at a equals 6 for this function. And we're not given an h value to plug in. So once we narrow it down, or once we simplify what we have, we'll still have everything in terms of h. So let's just start with that. To find the difference quotient, again, we want to start with finding f of a. So finding f of a is just to plug in the a value, which is 6, into the function they give us. So negative 2 times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. So negative 2 times 36 is negative 72. So f of a is negative 72. Let's go ahead and work out f of a plus h. I'm going to wide out some of the space to make it a little neater. Go ahead and do f of a plus h. f of a plus h is really to find f of 6 plus h, since a is equal to 6. And so as in the other difference quotient problems, whatever is inside the parentheses here, 6 plus h, we are going to substitute that in for x in the equation. So f of 6 plus h is negative 2 times, in parentheses, 6 plus h squared. So what we want to do is go ahead and expand 6 plus h squared. When we do that, we'll have the first term squared, so 36, plus 6 times h times 2. So 6 times h times 2 is 12h, plus the last term squared, so h squared. And again, kind of the idea is that this comes from expanding or foiling out 6 plus h times 6 plus h. And then the last step is just to distribute the negative 2 to these three terms. So negative 2 times 36 is negative 72. Negative 2 times 12h is negative 24h. And then negative 2 times h squared, negative 2h squared. So this is f of a plus h. Now we want to plug these into the difference quotient. So we'll have... Copy and paste this. Hopefully this works. All right. So we'll do this minus f of a. And then all divided by h. So again, like we saw in the other difference quotient problems, this f of a should always cancel. So negative 72 minus a negative 72, they cancel. And we're left with basically just this. And then we can always cancel an h from all the terms on top, leaving us with negative 24 minus 2h. So this should be the answer in that first column. It should be our simplified difference quotient. So negative 24 minus 2h, they've just flip-flopped it and called it negative 2h minus 24. So it looks like 3 is our simplification. And then, really to find the derivative, that's where this limit comes into play. So the only difference is, or really the only last step, is to plug in 0 for h. So when we look at this, and we evaluate the limit as h goes to 0. Of this, we just plug in 0 in place of h. And so what we get is just 0 minus 24, or negative 24. So we're looking at... 3 and B, looks like option H, break out the eraser to see that H is our answer. I'll go ahead and work out one more example of this, so feel free to stick around if you'd just like to see one more worked out. So we're finding F of A, which is F of 2, so negative 8 times 2 squared, negative 8 times 4 is negative 32, that's f of a, 
we want f of a plus h, which is f of 2 plus h. So we have negative 8 times 2 plus h squared. 2 plus h squared is 2 squared plus 2h times 2, 4h, and then plus h squared. Distributing the 8, the negative 8, gives us negative 32 minus 32h minus h squared. So we have our f of a plus h, our f of a. When we subtract the f of a, 32s will cancel. We're left with this divided by h. So the h is cancel, and we're just left with negative 32 minus 8h. Negative 32 minus 8h, so number 3. And then to evaluate the derivative is to evaluate the limit as h goes to 0. So the h term goes away, and we're just left with negative 32 for our limit. So again, 3 and b is actually our answer. If you have any questions on these examples, please let me know. Or if you have any questions on this problem in general, please let me know.